Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now in today's video, we're going to be having a look at this thing here. This is the Eau Rouge Cold Fusion Seat. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's a seat. It's going to do what seats do, but this one is a little bit different. This one has got fans inside, which keeps you nice and cool. But before we get into the video, the necessary disclaimer, Eau Rouge sent me this seat for free, so I didn't pay for it, although they don't get to see this video before it's published and they've got no influence at all in relation to what I say. Now, I got talking to the guys from Eau Rouge at the Sim Racing Expo in Nuremberg in 2022, and I got to sit in one of these seats, but I didn't actually test the cooling. And I've obviously read up online before I got this seat, and I didn't know if it was actually going to work that well or whether it was just a bit of a gimmick. Now, I've been using this seat for a couple of months now, and in the UK, it's getting quite warm and it's not uncommon in my sim racing room for it to be 30 degrees Celsius. So I need all the help I can get to stay cool. Now, as usual with these kind of videos, I will tell you that this isn't a product review. I'm not a reviewer. I'm a sim racer, exactly the same as you. And when I look at a product, I look at it as if I'm going to buy it with my own money. And as a result, there's only four things that I'm really interested in. Firstly, how does it look? If it doesn't look right, well, I'm not going to buy it. Secondly, what's the build quality like? Thirdly, how does it perform? And finally, is it value for money? So I'll give you some information about the seat. I'm going to read it from the product specification sheet that's in front of me now. So it's got a five millimeter thick fiberglass shell. It's got high density foam in all areas. You can see there how squishy that is. Um, upholstered in like a velvet material. Um, it's got reinforcement patch in the sides. Uh, I don't know if you can see that on there. That's like a little four leather patch. It's got removable leg cushion under the back of my thighs, and it's also got removable shoulder patches. Now, what makes this seat special is the internals. Inside, there are four blowers, four fans. We've got three on the rear and one underneath. And on the seat, there's a perforated nylon fabric. And that means when the fans blow, all of the cold air comes through the perforated fabric. All of the wiring is actually in the seat. There's obviously a wire comes out that you need to plug in, but there's no messy wires anywhere. It's just one cable that literally plugs into the socket. And just down on the right hand side of the seat, you do have a controller with six positions for fan speed. So firstly, let's talk about looks. I think it's a looker. I think it looks great. And of course, I'm going to be a little bit biased because this is customized. That is a feature that Eau Rouge offers. They customized my seat. So I've got my logo on the bottom where I sit. And obviously on the back, it's got my logo and my name underneath. So I think it looks absolutely brilliant. Secondly, we'll talk about build quality. Absolutely brilliant. Really, really good build quality. Really nothing at all to complain about. It's nice and soft, although very, very supportive. I don't know if you can see up there. It's that's not worn away. That's like dirt off my hands and stuff like that. I use my hand to get in and out of the rig because I've got a keyboard tray and keyboard mount and I've got to kind of step over everything to get in. So just bear that in mind. It will mark up if you're getting your grubby little hands all over it. And it's really, really comfortable. The actual place where you sit, um, it's lower than any other seat that I've had previously. So you kind of actually sit in the seat you don't sit on it you kind of sit in it and then you've got that support with these pads behind my thighs so you actually sit in the rig and when your backside's right up against the back really really comfortable and that's where you want to be in a sim racing seat you want your back all the way to the back you don't want any movement so when you actually get in it you ain't moving and i spend a lot of time in this seat as you guys probably know and it's really really comfortable i couldn't sit in a seat for as long as I do if it wasn't comfortable. So build quality, brilliant, comfort, brilliant. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend anybody sitting here for eight hours a day. It's not designed for that. But for an hour, two hours, three hours, perfectly fine, really comfortable. Now, thirdly, we'll talk about performance. Now, it's a tricky one, this, because it's a seat. A seat does what a seat does. But I touched upon it in the build quality really comfortable and we'll talk about the selling point of this seat which is the cold fusion the airflow how that's supposed to keep you cool when you're sim racing now last year last summer in 2022 it was super hot in the uk we, we touched 40 degrees on a couple of days 
And I went out and bought an air conditioning unit for about 400 quid. It's like a portable air conditioning unit just to try and get this room cool. But I was still absolutely sweating. And I've still got to use that just to bring the temperature of the room down to a comfortable level. So I've obviously got two computers in here, all the screens, so it does get really warm. But if I don't have this cold fusion seat running, I feel super uncomfortable. If you're getting this seat when you're already really hot, it's going to take a while to cool you down. But if you put it on as soon as you sit down, keep your body temperature at a reasonable level, which is what this seat does, then it's absolutely brilliant. I wouldn't say it's cold. It isn't cold, as the title would suggest, cold fusion. You can just feel not even a breeze, but you can just feel something keeping you a little bit cooler. So if you're getting this rig when you're already sweating, your body temperature's sky high, well, this isn't really going to cool you down very quickly. But what this does, if you're already cool, this will keep you cool. And like I mentioned, if I don't have this on, well, th there's a point during the race when I think I don't feel comfortable here, I'm sweating, and then, oh, God, I haven't put the seat on, and then I can turn it on. So it does actually work. It isn't just a gimmick, which is a good thing because it's not cheap. Let's talk about price. So for the seat itself, it's 955 euros. And if you wanted to customize it, it's 150 euros. And if you wanted or Rouge to design or speak to you about design and work together, that's another 75 euros. And that doesn't include seat mounts either. If you wanted to buy seat mounts from Eau Rouge, I think that's another 54 euros. I'm not using those. I'm using the seat mounts that I already had. And then the shipping, obviously, on top of that. So all in with the seat, with a custom design, with a UK plug, shipping, and 21% European VAT, that comes to 1,180 euros. Ouch. I know. That's a lot, right? But is it worth it? Well, that's subjective. It all depends how deep your pockets are. But the question is, could I race now without it? And the answer is no, I couldn't. I would really struggle. Obviously, I'm doing this day after day after day, quite a number of hours sat in the rig. It would really compromise the amount of time that I could actually put in. So would I have gone and bought one beforehand? Probably not, because I hadn't tried one. But now, if Orouge said, Dave, we're going to take that seat back, I would probably buy one. But I don't know if I would get the customised seat. Obviously, when you sat in it, you don't see it. You guys don't even see it on the camera. So that's €225 Euros that could be knocked off. So without the custom seat, just for the seat, without the seat mounts, a UK plug, shipping, and 21% European VAT, it's €955, which is a little bit easier to stomach. So let's summarise. Looks-wise, I think it looks the business. Especially customised, I think it does look brilliant when I'm not sat in the rig. When I'm sat in the rig, I don't see the seat, I'm just sat on it. But looks-wise, I think it's a winner. Build quality, comfort, I've got absolutely no complaints. Really, really comfortable. Build quality is excellent. The switch on the side to adjust the, contr uh, the controller for the fan, brilliant. Really nice click to that, excellent. The seat has worked perfectly for the two or three months that I've been using it. Performance performs excellently. Like I mentioned, comfort comes into performance. Ergonomically, the seat is brilliant. It just fits perfectly. And the cooling does what the cooling is supposed to do. It keeps your body nice and cool, makes things really, really comfortable. Value for money, well, that depends on what you sim race. If you're just jumping in for half an hour at a time, once or twice a week, probably not going to be worth it. But if you're racing in a hot environment or a warm environment, and you want to be nice and cool, or if you do endurance events and you're going to be sat in the rig for two, three hours every single time, then I think it's worth it. Or if you're a content creator like me and you sat in the rig Monday to Friday for quite a few hours, then definitely I couldn't be without this right now. But it's, it's kind of hard to recommend something that's so expensive for what it is. It's a seat. You sit on it. And I've got quite a number of nice seats. I've got a Sparco R333. I've got a Sparco Grid Q, all very, very nice seats. But to buy those, you're talking 350, 400 euros each. They're not cheap. So this is twice the price of a regular good quality seat. But for that, you're getting something that no other seat has. But overall, would I recommend it? Yes, I would. If you spend enough time 
in your rig. So I want to say a massive thank you to Oruj for sending me this seat to test and use. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you're interested. There's no kickbacks, there's no affiliate links, nothing like that. I'm just giving you my opinion as a sim racer. And hopefully this video will help you go one way or the other. But as always, thanks for watching. Have a great week. See you later. Cheers.